And we're live. Welcome to the hey. couch. I'm Ozzy Brick Chick, and he's Ozzy Brick Bloke. And uh, we're here every Tuesday night building stuff from our pile of Lego shame. And what's from the pile tonight? I think we're going to crack into the mini. We're going to crack into the mini. Ooh, that one's been on the list for a bit, but not too long. No. We've also got a couple of friends in the background. We've got uh, Philip, aka Darkside Bricks. Hey, guys. Are you building something tonight? I am. I'm building what Bill's has already built. Oh, the, the harvest stuff. Yeah. Nice. As I said to my wife, I don't know why I want it. I just want it. <laughs> well, it does it. suit your new table rather well. Yeah. Yes. I and now, of course, I'm looking at how to make a wheat field. <laughs> of course. <laughs> And as always, we've also got Bilzer joining us. What are you building, Bilzer? I am going to tackle this bad boy. Ooh, nice. New 2019 Technic set. So we'll, uh, the Chevrolet Corvette, I'll give it a crack. And you've had a very busy uh, few days, Melbourne. <laughs> I have, I have. I yeah, just got back from Melbourne, did uh, three days of Brickvention um, with Jodes and uh, Bilzy. Um, so, yeah, hectic, hectic full-on weekend, but well, well worth it. Excellent. Yes. We had a busy weekend too, didn't we? Yes, we did the Ballina show. Ballina Brick event, wall-to-wall, -wall, adults and children all oh, yeah. weekend. People. Good to see it, it may not be the tens of thousands that you see at Brickvention, but oh my gosh. Think of like a function room in your local RSL and pack that full of people and exhibits and that was our weekend all weekend. Please be number packs. Please be number <laughs> packs. Yeah. Any good show is a good show. Oh, yeah. But I kept on seeing photos of you and, and Bilzy and going, why can't I be there? Uh -huh. Next, next year, for attention. Next year. Yes, oh, I had a 27th wedding anniversary on the weekend. <laughs> oh, did you do anything nice? Yeah, went out to dinner and all the usual stuff. 27. Yeah, 27 years married, 52 years together. House is 17 this weekend coming. Oh, well. I think. Yeah, 17 this weekend. I better go buy some Lego for her. For her, yes. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw. <laughs> Blind Freddy could see that. Oh, my goodness. Do, 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 do. You need the one truck and one harvester. Now we've got some of the regulars in the chat and a couple of faces that are not so regular. We've got Douglas McBricken. We've got A.U. Kekovic. Uh, and they both both were playing Let's Play Guess the Technical Issue. The, there was no technical issue. We just got chatting about, you know, our weekends. and and, and a debrief. Yeah. Time just went. <laughs> Running late chatting. Yeah, we've also got Martin M, uh, Aussie Creator, aka Henry. We've got Ralph Debril, YOLO. We've got Jason Carpenter, evening. Uh, apparently, Kmart had that harvester transporter for $29, much more reasonable than $45. I haven't paid $29 for mine. Stickers! Well, I did after I used well, $15 left on my Big W gift card. Yeah. And I didn't pay for that, so I only paid 30 for one. Oh, nice. Oh, we've also got Warren G has just rolled in. So what's everyone building in the live chat? Are you building? Are you uh, sorting? Are you just hanging out? Let me know. If you're watching this on the playback, comment below. Um, we like to interact with the people who watch us. I actually met 
um, uh, somebody who's a semi-regular viewer came up and said hi on the weekend. Do I remember her name? No, the whole weekend was a blur. Uh -huh. She knows who she is. We feel there. Say hi. <laughs> we didn't have a special guest appear though. Who didn't have? Oh, didn't. Oh no, Timmy didn't. Timmy didn't come. He said he was gonna come visit me, and he lied. It would have been a long drive. I thought it was crazy to even contemplate it. Uh, never mind. Yeah, that's random. Mm. It must be the spare wheel. Must be. Yeah, so after having a weekend of being inundated by social media of all my friends of pretension, I've made a pact that next year it's going to happen. Isn't that right, Bill? Yep. 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 Well, I'm going, so the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Well, uh, I'm hoping to take a truckload of key luggers. Well, key lug displays. I think they call it people smuggling if you put everybody in the back of the truck. Uh, yeah, a lot of that cheaper though. <laughs> uh, but would they be able to breathe properly? <laughs> I think so. We'll stop every two hours. Stop every two hours. That'll be a very long trip. I didn't say that. Oh. 23 and a half hours without stopping. It's like, get out of the back. You've got a two minute pee stop. Food. Nobody gets food. You can eat in the truck. <laughs> that one is supposed to build that much, is it? Wow. Jeez. Uh, a... Tassa Ped's in the chat too. Hello. Let's get a truck then... with a window and go drive through. Drive through. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, where are we? Uh, Henry says, I'm building a mock for the aft trooper with a beach, jungle area, etc. It's only two base plates, but it's a nice size. Jason says he's building a couple of small city sets. The air show jet and the land speed car plus Brickhead's Dragon Guy arrived from Dreamworld. That's a nice set. We picked that up on our way up to, I mm mean, -hmm. um, down to Ballina. Along with, along with the clown and the, the puppy. puppy dog for Valentine's Day. Yeah, they, are, they are good. I've only built the dragon guy so far. It looks really nice. Dragon guy. I haven't I haven't built the other two yet. Yeah. But you can just sort of see the bottoms of the Chinese New Year sets. We will be building them um on Chinese New Year. And we're also saving the dragon suit um brickhead for that as well. We'll, we'll pick it. We'll, we'll build a set each. So Sean will build all of them. Mm. No, we'll build a set each. Mm -hmm. That's how it might start. We'll build a set each. <laughs> you trying to convince yourself or us? Both. <laughs> uh, he'll probably finish quickly, get bored, and then try and you know take over what I'm doing because that's just the way he rolls. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Douglas says I'm building my waistline with Maccas. The Rickvention application forms are meant to be fun. They are. Well, I've I've already um had a, a talk to Annalise and warned her that um we may be bringing a truckload of stuff and they better make room for us. Oh, there's room. Lots of room. Well, if Donna comes with the Harry Potter castle, oh my god, that's like six tables by itself, isn't it? Or something ridiculous. Yeah, like six tables. And his Minecraft is like four. four. My mum's Western is like four. I wonder we do big. We just spread out, not up. 
go out. Probably want to get an idea of how many tables so we can pre warn them saying, yeah, I'm um, probably going to be looking at needing about this much space. Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as we get the ball run rolling on the actual organizational side of things. I, I won't be doing a normal display. I'll do a custom brick bench and display. A custom brick bench and display. Yeah. Well, you won't be um, you won't be limited by size. Exactly. Ooh. The way it should be. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Well, if we're gonna, you know, take a contingent down. We might as well do it right. Yep. Take a truckload down. But I don't trust anyone to freight it. I want people that I know driving a truck down. Fair enough. Well, it's it's not a case of worrying about insuring things, it's it's worrying about being able to actually replace things. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. It's a pity they don't fix the upper balcony so it can hold weight. Damn heritage listing makes it way too expensive. Yeah, um, the venue has a lot more space upstairs that they barely use for anything. Yeah, they can't. <laughs> oh, bless me. Oh, goodness. Ow, that hurt. Once again, they tell me that I need to build two of these. <laughs> How many pages did you go across before you realized you had to do times two? Only two pages in total. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, but they tell you you can't shoot your brother straight up, but they don't tell you build two straight up. Oh, they do. You just got to pay attention to the little picture. Yes, yeah, like who, who pays a attention to the little picture at the top most people pay attention to the big picture and see what pieces mm. need to be added to it you know make it harder for yourself i still don't pay attention to the parts list in the top left corner yeah that's the same about mostly the same look only at look at that when i've got an extra bit and i'm backtracking <laughs> extra bits Yeah, Diggler says when he was a kid, the upper upper um, balcony area was used. He remembers a caravan show there. What caravans in the upper balcony? Uh, no, it must have been just exhibits in the upper balcony. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but when Douglas was a kid, the place was brand new. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that he's not on. Fired. I, I can say that he's not on the chat. He's not on the on the stream. <laughs> he's gonna get you on Friday. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> if you didn't. Mm. Not quite that old. <laughs> And it's funny, every year people complain about the venue and go, oh, why don't they choose somewhere else? Do you realise how hard it is to move an event that has been in the same place for more than 10 years? Oh, look, I, I think there was still space available at the venue to fit more in if they wanted to. Uh, I think it was a fantastic venue location-wise. I wouldn't change it. It's a gorgeous building. It's also I, easy to get. And it's to. so central. Yep. It's just inconvenient that it's not air conditioned. Yeah, we were really blessed that we had uh, a massive change in the weather from that heat uh, wave they had the week prior. Yeah, so I heard we melted in 2016, and I heard 2017 and 18 were no better. Yeah. And the heat wave's coming back today. <laughs> This is like it's prevention. We need to um, bugger off the heat for you know a few days. 
Yeah, bring the coin, bring the cool Queensland weather down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone cursed us for bringing in the humidity. Oh. oh they, don't, they don't thank you for the cool cool bruises or anything. No. Nah. Blame you for the for the humidity. Yeah. I know the evaporation was pretty high around here because we had the house all shut up and you know left the lids off the fish tanks because that's what they tell you to do when it's hot weather because we're fr you know I always fret that it's going to be too hot for the fish yeah. so we had a fan blowing across the top of it which you know helps to aerate the water and uh, we came back to like we lost about that much water out of the tank Preparation. and the the pump like was spurting water above the water line I'm like oh dear that's probably not good for it wow yeah i lost about six inches out of the swimming pool this week oh crazy amount of evaporation and that was like you know that's in a enclosed space imagine what it's like outside so I think we've had more since we came home. What surprise me. Insane. More of a dry now. Yeah, but you know, it looks like like even with all the evaporation and stuff, it looks like the temperatures were quite mild. Of course my mum would ring now. <laughs> me. Hi mommy. She's probably wondering why we didn't come over to collect stuff. Ah. Yeah, we had to leave one with that box behind because it was buried at the right back of the trailer. Um, oh, Lara. Oh, Lara Hart. Now everyone knows the name of the lady. Yes. And funnily enough, there was on a way through there was um one there was trans blue studs on um the wall when we went through on Friday and they were still there on Monday when we came back through. Oh they've had those a bit lately. Yeah, I think they rack they must ration it out. Yeah, I think also the uh, oh my god, I have to have it phase is getting a bit done, maybe. Yeah, possible. I did see a lot of um, loose one by one trans blues that were extension actually used. Yeah, probably because they um, were hitting up Chatty for it. They're talking about a Bricklink seller. Uh. Guy must be on the hunt for something. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope we can make this um, brick fencing trip happen. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good to go with more more people from the land of the sun. Mm. Wow. I think Shree might be gone for a little while. Uh, yeah, sometimes these phone calls aren't quick. It happens, I guess. Yeah. Sorry, just checking out the chat quickly. Quiet in the chat, everyone must be building. Yeah. And quite a bit of non-Lego talk happening in there too.
when I looked in the instructions for this first bag, I'm like, how is that supposed to make quite so much? But now that I've built most of it, I'm like, oh. Yeah. That is pretty structural, pretty quick. Mm. The instructions are deceptive. Fearless leader is returning. I'm returning. Fearless leader. Uh, Mum has been on um, Bricklink looking to order stuff to make things. Uh, like, oh, who's who's that person that wipes out the pick a brick wall at Dream World? She doesn't want to support that kind of nonsense. Oh, fair enough. Okay, what have I missed? Not lots, much. Lots of people yeah. building buildings, mining. Ah, Amy's made it. Hi, Amy. Uh, what are we building? We're building the mini. The mini. Well, when I say we, I mean him. Uh, I'm just here for moral support. And also to eat the chupa chups that we didn't get to eat on the weekend because you weren't allowed to take an outside food. Huh. What are those places? Yeah, the joys of a licensed venue. So we went out to Subway with a backpack and smuggled it in and ate in a corner when nobody could see us. That's a good idea. <laughs> Well, they got like eighty odd dollars off us for dinner on Saturday night. That was disgusting. The food wasn't good either. No, blah. I swear they deep fried the um, chicken parmigiana, Ooh. like the chicken part of it. Ooh, and tough. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, the pick a brick wall does have a lot of useful stuff. The problem is, is that the people that know what stuff is useful, go and buy it all up so it's never there. It's there for like three seconds and gone. Yeah. Yes, I know I should have come to Brickventure. Couldn't afford it, Janko. I spent all weekend wishing I was there. Yes, but she I did. You had a really good time. Especially <laughs> on um, the VIP night. Our VIP night had children and no alcohol. Oh, yeah. How was your VIP night? Had children um, and no alcohol. Do you, want, do you want the version that I told Brick Events or the version that's the truth? Oh, why wouldn't we tell them the truth? <laughs> I don't know. Right. Let's just say the people that were there obviously had a good time and knew no better. Oh, that's good. Uh, from my perspective, it looked a bit. Uh, but it was like a, a master builder session teaching the, the normies how to, you know, build stuff that's a bit more know. technical. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The normies, yes. The muggles. Ah, uh, the muggles, yes. Johnny G says the stores need to order more of the good stuff. The problem is, Johnny G, is that the good stuff is more expensive and doesn't make them money. Yeah, I think what what AFOLs want on the pick a brick wall and what, uh, you know, kids that are building at home want on the pick a brick wall are completely different. Mm -hmm. Most kids want basic bricks. Yep. And they have lots of basic bricks. 
and steering wheels and tires mm -hmm. and atholes don't want any of those I, oh my, my dad bought steering wheels and tires hmm. i'm not sure if he bought city by steering wheels or maybe it was vehicle bases i've been vehicle bases yeah, he a couple to see if he can make something from them hmm. he only bought stuff so he can make his buses Oh, yeah, apparently he's already made more buses. That wouldn't surprise Oh, his me. buses were really popular. That's Because, of course, my parents, you know, they um, they subsidised, like, their travel costs and all that jazz with um, selling his stuff at a stall. And um, one of the things Dad has designed was a bus, a um, few different styles. Kids love them. They yeah. think they're brilliant. Uh, Jenko said, did you go to the pub after your VIP night because there was no alcohol? Um, after the VIP night, we went downstairs to the RSL club. So there was alcohol and all the other adults that weren't us and my family had alcohol pretty much. We, we, we don't really do the drinkings no. in our family. <clears throat> I'd rather spend my money on more tangible things. Like Lego. Less calories in Lego. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, I've never been a fan of beer, and uh, he doesn't like the way I am when I'm drunk anyway. I don't like the way anyone is when they're drunk. That's what happens when you grow up with, you know, parents that drink too much. <laughs> Janko says, fair enough. <laughs> Oh, that looks like that. But, you know, it was good because we had time after, like, the wall-to-wall -wall people were there. There was only about 20 people at the VIP session. Oh, that's not too bad. So, um, but, like, half of them were kids. I couldn't imagine spending 40 bucks and sending my kid to a thing like that. Yeah. I mean, they got to go home with, like, a little goodie bag of stuff as well. And they learnt things. And they got to have a look around at the displays and stuff. Yeah, right. But I would have, I, I would have liked, I guess, if it was aimed more specifically at Athol's, I would have liked it to be more like the way that Prevention does things, where it's just, like, you know, cocktails and canapes and that sort of thing. Yep. And just wander around and look at stuff. I suppose it's fine when you have a really big show, but well, it was never marketed as a VIP session. No, it no, was it wasn't a mar session. market as a master builder session, which is slightly different. But it was all about you know learning stuff and <laughs> if only it was no kids allowed. Uh. But the kids that were there were really well behaved, actually. They were good. So I took the opportunity to go around and take a whole bunch of photographs because it was very, very stressful to try and get anything done. Um, as a result, I had planned to do interviews with a couple of people and didn't happen because it was just too loud, too noisy, too many people just couldn't do it. Too stressful. Plus, he needed like back up you know, from time to time because it got crazy in the stalls area. And mum needed help too. We had, we played um we played tag, you're it, and swapped places all all weekend. But uh, I went and got stuck having to look after displays for a, a while while people had lunches. Needed more volunteers, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's the hard part when we do. Well, shows out I think of state. Um, Alan Holmes was supposed to come, but he never turned up. Um, and then you had uh, Aaron was supposed to be there, but he cut his thumb. Um, boy, did he make a mess of that. 
Yeah, but he would have known. He'll be lucky to get you know most of the feeling back in it, like ability. Like he's going to lost, lose the mobility out of it because of the way it was cut. Oh, Jenko says he didn't get any time to take photos. No, he, he was busy running back and forth between his displays. Did he not have them together? Uh, they were close, but no, they weren't together. Because his um, train or main display was part of the Colab train area, mm -hmm. and then his massive, impressive windmill was maybe 10 metres away on the opposite side. So it was in viewing distance for him but he was running between the two all day yeah see that big windmill that that needs somebody who knows what they're doing with it at all times yeah first rule of going to shows do not go alone go with friends friends that don't have their own displays Let's, and again. Going for the third time? Nope. Again. No. Ooh, shiny. Mm. Very shiny. Shine bright like a Lego. <laughs> uh, okay, Jenka says his dad was there. Yeah, sounds like... like mm. I would say that if you have more than one display, you need a minimum of four people. Because one person at any one given time is going to want to look around. Yeah, that's why I'm glad that we went this year but didn't display this year. So now I'm, I'm prepared for next year. Yeah. Uh, Douglas asks, is this the windmill that went wrong at Benigo Bricks? Yes. Yes, it is. The one that smashed in spectacular fashion. Good help. Oh, were you not here when we had that conversation? No. It must be a Friday night thing. Yeah, I didn't know that. Someone's playing with a train. I'm a... How did you know? I can hear uh, it. It has a very distinctive sound, Philip. Yeah. Oh, Woo -hoo. It sounds like it's running well. Yeah. I've, um, I've placed an order today through all the tunnel, all the stuff I need to make my tunnel entrances. Cool. Well, I'm still sure many, many, many 16 by 16 green bait and green plates. It's always annoying. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the problem with those is finding somewhere that has them in bulk. Yeah, no, I brought the last, the last place I found had them in bulk in Australia, had mine, and now I own them. So. <laughs> all, the, all the Brickling stores currently only have one. Yeah. I did that with 10 16 by 16s as well. Whoops. Have you tried yeah. looking on bricks and pieces? Oh, finished that's cool. the, um, yeah, finished the harvester. Cool. I'm not building the truck because it actually doesn't want the truck. I only wanted the harvester. Yeah, I was the same. I did build the truck though. I do like the scarecrow though. The scarecrow is real cool. Yeah. I quite like the scarecrow. He's actually got a yeah. He's got a patchwork face, uh, patchwork head. Got a big patch on the back of his head. Cool. What more detail than the? Oh, that's right. JK reminded me. Pick a brick and all that is offline until February. That'll come soon enough. Yeah. Two weeks yeah. away. February, uh, not even next weekend. Wait, not this weekend, next. Not long now. 
Oh, we need to do all the back to school shopping. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, I drove past Officeworks today and you should have seen the queue to get in there. All when right. Go, when go the little <clears throat> go back to school? Um, for Queensland, they go back next Tuesday, the day after Australia Day. Uh, depends on what school you go to and what grade you're in. They get uh, a solid yeah. break nowadays, don't they? Pardon? We never got that good of a break. We oh, did. Oh. Yeah, Thank when you. I was at school, we were still writing on stone tablets. Ha! Beat you all to it. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> I was waiting we, for it. I thought I'd better get in first. We used to break up on the 1st of December and go back on the 1st of February. Wow. I only ever had six six weeks over Christmas till eight, grade 10 and then went to eight weeks. I mean, six, yeah, eight and then grade 12 was another two weeks off before that as well. We we had trimesters though, not semesters. So ah. we only had three terms. Trimesters right, sounds like pregnancy. I hope not. It was not boys' school. <laughs> I was about to say this is probably just as painful. The school terms go much quicker these days. Yeah, it's like you just send them back, and it's like, oh. We're on holidays again. You're like, really? Yeah, you just went back. Just they go to school for like two and a bit months and then they're on holidays again. Yep. Not when fair. you grow up, you realize you should have been a school teacher because you could do that too. Have you guys have any, idea what, any idea what Lego's version of Stone Grey and. Hang on. Uh, uh, dark stone and medium stone grey. Would that be just dark grey and light grey? In Lego? No, no so, all the colours are completely different. Yeah, stone is older from. Weren't the uh, original train track sleepers the stone grey? Oh, uh, okay. So there's no current um, replacement for those colours? No. Uh, I think the current replacement are your yeah, light blay and dark blay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I just said. Dark stone grey and medium stone grey would be now be dark grey and light grey. That's right. Which in their own are actually old colours. I think there's there is some difference in the colours. Oh, there is between those and the blue versions. But I don't, I've never actually, I have to admit, I've never seen a stone, dark stone or a medium stone grey, so. You probably might find they're the original ones and these are the, the replaced, updated them to the. Um, yeah, the, light grey and dark grey, and then updated those to light blue grey and dark blue grey. That's right. Oh, it's I need to make that red arrow more obvious. Oh, I'm going to do something that I don't think I've ever done on one of Cherie's streams before. Well, make sure you excuse yourself first. Yeah, and on clothes, don't worry. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I posted a video um, on my channel today, um, uh, uh, the basics of using BrickLink, brick if anyone's interested in looking. Ah, cool. Or, yeah. needs, to, or needs to look. Just how to make a want list and how to add add parts and how to make an order. Yeah, it's definitely a lot better, easier now than what it used to be. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, I've never actually promoted my channel before, so I figure if Cherie's brother can do it, I can do it once. <laughs> hey, you're most welcome to it. I am always supportive. <laughs> I realise that, but I didn't even run this by you. I just had the thought, and if I don't say it, I'll forget. So. Oh, go for it. Oh, there's nothing else on my channel worth watching, but that might actually be useful for people. So. Oh, there's plenty worth watching on your channel. Oh, yeah, and I've um, 
I built the Praetorian Guard battle set as well. Oh, they're the ones with the funny looking heads. Yeah, the new the new heads, yeah. Yeah. You get three Praetorian guards and a um why I don't know, but and of course the first order trooper. But they'll go on to my Snake's throne room display. Well, there's buyer's remorse for you. Where the heck am I going to put this harvester? <laughs> you know you don't have to use it. You can just buy it because it's pretty. I did that. Now I want to use it. <laughs> it's well, good. Mel said, to use it. Mel said to me the other day, she goes, you realise how much city stuff you're buying at the moment? It's like, yeah, don't, don't just leave it. Don't leave it. Yeah. Just put a stormtrooper in it. You'll be right. Well, it gets worse. I'm going to buy the outdoor set with the tent and everything. Oh. And um, the top of my tunnel, I'm actually going to forest it right up and actually have a camping ground up there and have the mountain climber climbing up the side of the hill and that sort of thing. Oh, sweet. Cool. Hey, um, Darkside, can you comment in the chat so that people know what, what, where your channel is? Oh. Can I post links in the chat? Yeah, if you open it. Dum, dum, dum. Hell, how much? Oh, Douglas, I've watched so much Billy over the last last six or so months. That woman is a cack. Um, yes, my channel. Hang on, I'll get a um. I'll open a tab and get a link to the channel. I'm really good at self-promoting, aren't I? I'm not even remotely ready. Um, <laughs> yeah, this works. Sorry. No, Jenko's asked me a question if I've seen some sets before. <laughs> Remove any web addresses and try again. I didn't think I could post the link. Just look for Dark Side Bricks on YouTube. Dark Side's one word. All you have to do is just comment and say hi. You know, people just need to click on your name. The oh, I've already name. done it. Oh, I've already done that, yeah. Uh, um. Janko asked me uh, if I've seen these before. They're the um, promotionals from Walmart from last year. They're actually quite cool. And for those who don't know, Dark Side Bricks is also a brick link. This biz must be actually extra. You sure about yes, that? Yes, I've been through these pages twice now. Absolutely sure. I think. Oh! oh yeah. Howdy, facts. They're the to look homes for. But it's funny, on the video that I did, I've actually showcased three other stores, not my own. <laughs> now, where are the pieces? Those ones. Yeah, you really haven't got this self-promotion thing down, Pat, have you? <laughs> I'm, crap, I'm crap at it, too. Uh, it doesn't worry me. The store's there to help people, not to do, not make money or anything. Well, that's just a piece from the next. Uh -huh. Oh, hang on, the bag, sorry. I'm going to have to take down more. Oh, did we notice we missed something? Yeah, two little pieces. From that page back to the start of the book. Oh. 
bug today somewhere. I looked through all the, all the corners here. Yeah, but if it is, so I'm gonna need one here, which means I'm actually missing one. Oh no! Where? Along here. Back here. Which means I'm actually missing one. Uh, Douglas says quali quality assurance is on the job. The two of them are supposed to be here. But I've only got one. So what have you put in a different place that you shouldn't have? Nothing. Yeah. Do I have anything extra? Yeah, you told me that that wasn't an extra, and it is. There's no other parts left over. Supposed to be a second one that goes there, but I don't have that second one. I think you put an extra layer in here. Then why does that meet up nice and neat with that? Pieces well. No, I think I might actually finally have my first set without with a missing piece. Whoops. You sure it's not stuck in the bag? Too These though. pieces are definitely too big to be leftovers. Nothing left in the bag. So there's only two bag ones. Okay, that's normal for a leftover, but those aren't. That. Based upon whether I was looking up in the top corner. Where does the three bits go? There and there. Right there. 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 Yeah. yeah. Why don't you, I wonder if Lego gave me these two, I suppose. Supposed to be that long piece. I got extra these instead of a. Uh, Mm, doesn't look like you've skipped those. Whoops. Damn. I right. Lego up for that. I do believe we found our first missing piece. First, first set, no missing piece. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, the very first one. Perfect. Then we good old. Got to get an extra two one by three tiles. Every time you take a drink, ABC, I feel like strawberry milk. <laughs> yeah, it is strawberry milk coloured, isn't it? But I assure you it has water in it. 
No, no, I really want strawberry milk now, though. <laughs> it's definitely water and not vodka. <laughs> That's some pretty strange smell of water. <laughs> Love you too, honey. Yep. Totally. Ow. Well, fancy doing a silly thing like picking on your wife. Says so she who picks on her husband. the sound of concentration. Yep. Oh, hi, Dan. Daniel's in the chat. Hey, Dan. Dan from New Zealand. Every time I tackle a Technic build, I always think, yeah, that shouldn't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they're small, it doesn't mean that they're just not as complicated because they really are. I think they're more complicated. That's why they're called technic. Maybe. Maybe yeah, after the Chinese New Year, we might tackle the Porsche. I don't know. Mm. I have a feeling that might be the extra piece that's just in a, um, another set of bags. Mm. Yeah, we'll see as we progress. Mm. <laughs> Daniel says, uh, uh, very quiet tonight, lols. Yeah, you caught us in a quiet moment. And everyone's tired from the weekend. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody is tired from the weekend. He's tired and grumpy. I'm always tired and grumpy. Yeah, it's just the depth of berries. Jason says, out of 1,400 sets, I've only ever had two sets with missing pieces, the Simpsons house and the Bane tumbler set. Daniel asked, did anyone go to Brick Vention? Very big yes from a certain person on the panel. Big Bill. What was that? I missed that. Someone was asked if, they, um, if, if anyone, anyone went, went to Brick Vention. Oh, yes, I went to Brickvention. It was uh, very good. We went to a show a lot close to home in Ballina, in northern New South Wales. It was very busy. And Brickvention was very busy. Did anyone score tickets to the advanced screening of the Lego Movie 2? No, but it's also being shown an hour and a half away from me, so I have no interest. I'll just do what I did when the Lego Movie came out. Oh. They're not putting any screenings on the Goldie for years. No, nah, North Lakes is the nearest one. Oh, that sucks. You sure about that? Yeah. Did you look up your local cinema? Unless it's changed, yep. North Lakes isn't the only one. We're going to Maroochydore. Yeah. Maroochydore, Kiwana. Unless it's been updated when it was first announced uh, before I went to Brick Vention, North Lakes was the only one listed on their website. I would definitely check again. They're definitely not the uh, only one now. Oh, okay. Well, that's we, good. We booked for our local. Yeah. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. not having to travel to Brisbane. Yeah. It is like four, all the sessions seem to be about four o'clock in the afternoon. Well, ours was four o'clock in the afternoon. Well, that's not a bad time. Yeah. Um, Dan asked, how were the guys from Beyond the Brick? Really, really good. They were really, um, really good guys.
So it was their first trip to Australia. So like most Americans, they were blown away by how similar Australia is to America, except the fact that our animals try to kill us and theirs don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, try to kill us more often. They do have deadly animals in, in America. Oh, absolutely. I said they don't try and kill us either. They only kill tourists, so we're all right. <laughs> I heard that they went and um, went went to the Great Barrier Reef. They did. They went up to Cairns and did the Barrier Reef. Uh, they went to Sydney. Uh, for some reason, went to Canberra. Um, they, and then they went to Melbourne, and then they were flying out the day after Brickvention. So they had a pretty full-on pretty cool on trip um and they had their their family and parents and siblings with them as well so they made a whole oh, wow so it was a family holiday yeah they made a whole trip of it so um, down to the country for the new country for the first time why not mm. well i talked to them not last year but the year before and said you know, are you guys ever going to come to australia because they have like a 24-hour charity live stream every year and yeah. um, I did that one in 2017, and I asked them, yeah, are you guys ever planning to come to Australia? And they're like, we'd love to come to Australia. Um, it's just a you know, case of actually organising something. And I said, well, if you're going to go to a show in Australia, Big French is the one that you'll meet the most you know, variety of people from around Australia. Yep. And then I probably forgot that I told them that. I never thought in my wildest dreams that they would actually follow through with they They said, oh, yeah, we're going to uh, – because I talked to them again last year, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to Melbourne. And I'm like, oh, I wish I'd known. It would been great to have met them. I believe we'll come back next year. I know their calendar is very packed, though. Yes lots and lots of shows but if they've gotten the bug for australia then maybe they'll come back uh yeah it is a very packed calendar they're also both uh doing their uh don't, whatever the equivalent american equivalent to their masters is this year mm. um so they've got a uh, pretty full on schedule at uni for the next wow um or college it is over there mm. uh, Pretty full on schedule at college for the next six months. That's crazy. So I guess they managed to just slide in prevention in before. before uni. Um, yeah, must have done. Cool. Oh, well, nice to hear that they're as nice in person as they seem to be on, you know, YouTube. Oh, they are definitely. It was, um, it was, yeah, really good chatting to them both. Mm. Yeah, I look forward to seeing who they interviewed. Well, the one thing I've noticed is that they don't just pick like the obvious, you know, best and biggest ones only. Like they'll talk to smaller creators. Yep. So they would have had the work cut out for them at prevention. There's a shit load of small stuff. Anyway, uh, where are we? Douglas says, so glad we only have the drop bears and no grizzly bears. <laughs> I don't know. Those drop bears can be um, rather vicious. Yeah. Especially in that Bundy out there, bloody big. Uh well, you know, over in New Zealand, they don't have any, like, nasty, creepy crawlies. Surprised any of them come over here. Everything wants to kill you. Yep. Although my mom was telling me a story on the weekend about there's these birds over in New Zealand where that, like... If you don't feed them, they attack your car or something. Oh. Because it's like, um, there's this tunnel. I can't remember where she said it was at. It must have been somewhere on the North Island. And 
you have to wait quite a yes, while. There are these one way tunnels. Yeah, it's a one way one way tunnel. You have to wait quite a while for your turn to go through the tunnel, right? And um, if you're unlucky enough that these birds like pick on you, they start like pulling anything off your car that they can physically um, <laughs> physically um, pull off your car. So like they'll they'll pull like the rubber out of your out of your um, door frames and and your window. Oh wow! Windscreen wipe. They'll try and rip your windscreen yeah, wipers your off. Windscreen wipers off. Yeah, anything, anything that's you know able to be pulled off, that they will. You know, if you don't feed them, it will hit you and pull your car apart. Sounds like psycho bin chickens. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, they're also a protected species. Yeah, they're so. a protected species, so you can't do nothing. Oh. and if you annoy them too much, they'll um start using your car as a bathroom. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Yeah, that they'll poop all over your car. Oh, I've got a kitten that does that. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the bird, though. Oh, surely, surely. Daniel, help me. Yeah, maybe Daniel knows. Daniel, yeah. help me. Is it the kiwi? No, it's not the kiwi. It's, uh... Ah, I can't think of it. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure somebody did a Lego Ideas um, bird of it. The name escapes me and it's annoying me. I can't think of it. They're ever so naughty birds. Naughty, naughty birds. At least they're not murder birds like cassowary. Oh, yeah. Douglas says, I love those little black and white, what, Starks that attack cars? Awesome when they go for an expensive car. Hmm. Yeah, apparently um, my parents were, like, on a holiday and in a rental car when this happened, and luckily they only shat on their car. They didn't pull it apart like the guy that was like three cars up that decided to shoo them away. Big mistake. Wow. That's some very vindictive birds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a learned behavior over time. I wonder if I can Google it. it should be able to. Let's see. Google. New Zealand bird that pulls your car apart. Mm hmm. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bird. Comes back with woman called Sharon. Oh, that's Mozzie Bird that'll pull the power plant. Uh huh. Kia? Is it a Kia? A Kia. It's a car made by Hyundai. <laughs> no, it's spelled K E A. Oh no, I mean, they don't own them. It's pronounced a different way because Kiwis they they do their vowel sounds completely different. Yeah, like fosh. <laughs> and it's probably a Maori word, so it's probably pronounced completely differently to how it's spelled. But it's probably the choicest bird of them all, bro. <laughs> Wasn't it Kaka bird, was it? I don't know. I don't even remember when your mum was there. While we're driving up, I definitely won't remember. Just give her a call. We'll wait. <laughs> now later, she <laughs> gets off the phone. Hey, so what, huh? <laughs> Bill said, "Give you call, Mama call." I'm here. <laughs> Siri's here for me. She's like, I'm not sure I understand, Sheree. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Maybe it's a car car? Oh gosh. Wait, wait, where is our New Zealander when we need him? He's buggered off. Yeah, it disappeared on us. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, it's the Kia. It says, this parrot is considered to be the world's only alpine variety and are endemic to the South Island of New Zealand. You can usually find them, find them going about the business at Arthur's Pass National Park or a Fjordland National Park. While these birds might be pretty to look at, keep in mind that they're notorious for dismantling people's belongings. The Kia's sound sounds like it's shouting out, yeah, in a long, loud, high-pitched cry. That's how it got its name. Unfortunately, the Kia is an endangered species, but there are projects that are working to increase their numbers. So there you go. They're an endangered species, and they pull cars apart. Oh, what were they? Did you discover it while I ducked out to get a drink? Kia. <laughs> a Kia. Yeah, I like the car, but 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 spelled K E. A. Oh, like the car, but not owned by Hyundai. Yeah. Yes. Yet. <laughs> so not employees of Hyundai and sent out and sent to sabotage other cars so people buy Hyundai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they live in a place called Arthur's Pass National Park. Um, With hobbits. It says, while these birds might be pretty to look at, keep in mind that they're notorious for dismantling people's belongings. Wow. They got their name because that's what they sound. That's what their call sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Sounds like they're in a martial Amazing arts. Amazing New Zealand facts. <laughs> sounds like they're in a martial arts movie. Oh uh, yeah. No wonder they're endangered if they play with cars. Well, they only play with cars that are stationary. And unfortunately, at, um, at that particular place where they live, cars have to stop because there's a tunnel that's only a one-way direction at a time. There's one way for a certain amount of time. Then goes. Yeah, so you can sit there for about half half an hour waiting your turn. They have them in Alaska too. But yes, uh... I, that, that's one story I haven't heard 10 million times, so that's good. Because mm. parents, you know, they get older, they start repeating their stories. Oh, yeah, like toddlers. And over and over. And if you're really lucky, if they get to an age where they've got dementia, they'll start again at the beginning when they finish. Hmm. With all the earthquakes, would you drive through a tunnel? It's probably safer than houses. Can I make you want a strawberry milk, Bill? <laughs> yep. That looks interesting. Is that the seat? Yeah, that's the seat. I love the pat, the patchwork, and the seats. The pattern. Patchwork's cool. It is cool. I like the colour. The dark greens are nice. Mm. A lot of people yeah. have these in other colours too. Yeah, so I've seen. I think the dark green is very British. 
Yeah, so yes, the iconic color for the mini. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it even has a very specific name, but I can't remember what it is. They're very British. Very British. Yeah, it's like it's bit fire green or something. It's like the color of boiled spinach. What British rights in the green? What was that, Dark Side? British racing green. It's a yeah. really dark green. Yeah. It's almost black. My father in law had a Mini Cooper S that was that color. Like the one uh, Sean's building? Yeah, pretty much. Had the gold rims and everything. Cool. I definitely like these minis a lot better than the um, ones that BMW brought out. Oh, the recent likely. ones. I, I have seen people um, swap out the roof. And make it the um, Union Jack. Oh, that's pretty cool. Which makes it even more iconic. Do it in lime green and put Mr. Bean on top. Oh, God. <laughs> I hated that show. Mr. Bean is awesome. I hated you it. hated that show? Oh, my God. We can't be friends. No, never liked it. What show is that? Mr. Bean. Oh, Mr. Bean. I've even heard rumors that Rowan Atkinson even hated the character too. Really? Yeah. I guess the paycheck was worth it though. Well, wow. must have been. To do two movies. I use wrong size. Why are you trying to make these? You need to lend account. Yep. One, two, four. <laughs> Good count. Wasn't that someone we know who said I only went to school to eat lunch? Fair enough. When we reminded them that they had to have um, eight tables of displays and they're only at seven. Ooh, rule breakers. Although I think they got to the eight. Hmm? Steve. He um, said he only went to school. looking after the Rubik's Cube as well. Which totally counts, even though it was like this much on a table. That was like, after the whole time. How does that count as a table? Because it's owned by the um, event organizers, so it's allowed. They create rules to suit themselves. <laughs> Pretty much it. All good. And 
since the very rushed um, need to make my display twice as big. Everyone has the sound some concentration. Because mm. the sound of silence. And the clicking of some freaks. And the flicking of some pages. Oh, Mr. Rowe. Busy focusing on the green bits. Hey, we've gotten into a conversation about uh, milk drinks. Big uh, M versus Breaker. I'm pretty sure I've seen Big M in, in Queensland. Nah. Big M's Victoria. No, um, no. I've seen Big M in, in Queensland. I yeah, may have seen it recently, but they used to stock it. Yeah, you would have at one point, but uh, it, it didn't sell very well up here because no one knew what big m was so they changed the picture on the carton and called it oak again and it started selling again ah oh, is that what it is and it, oh, well in other states it's called move in move. victoria it's called big m okay. I'm with great, different different branding in different states that's crazy Breaker is a different company. Big M is Palmer. Yeah, yeah I know Palmer. Breaker's a different company. Yeah, I, I grew up drinking Move chocolate milk in New South Wales. Yeah, I think I've seen Move. Must have been while we were in New South Wales. We had they Move. Have Norco, they have Norco down there too. Yeah. We have Norco in Queensland. Yeah. Oh, it's not nice. as it's not as um prevalent though. Like it's around, but it's not like you know. What is that? Do you like oak? Oak is nice. And they have Farmers Union something flavored milk from Victoria. No, I think it's South Australia. Australian. So it's, so it's always posting photos of the iced coffee. We get Farmers Union here. Yeah, I know. Oh, we stickering, are we? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. right. <laughs> Don't tell Douglas that Sean's stickering. Sean Stickering, Douglas. Shh. Oh, was I supposed to not say that? It's a figment of your imagination. Figment of your imaginitis. Hmm. You're poking me. I'm looking in the head with my headband. 
haven't. Sparkly scrunchy. Ah, being assaulted. <laughs> yeah, because that's helpful. Help. <laughs> Spouse <laughs> abuse. Uh, uh, yeah, because hair really hurts. Yep. It leaves bruises. <laughs> I always sort of be like phone books. Uh, Diggle says, hooray for stickers. Uh, Instead of a ticker tape parade, a sticker tape parade. God. He's proud of you for putting stickers on things. Yeah, it looks like you get to put on a windscreen. Yeah. Where is it? Ooh, shiny. Mm, scratched. Scratched. Oh, it has all these little micro scratches. Yeah. Yeah, ready. Well, you know. Let's float around inside a bag of bricks. <laughs> Diglas says that I need a quality insurance sticker so I can check to see what you've missed. And then go, yes, this has been checked by by assurance checker 15. Mm. Charlotte, my son put stickers on a set the other day for the first time ever. Mm. I've never, ever let him do it before. And after he put it on in a real half-assed way, he just slapped it on and got it absolutely perfect. I realised that I should have been letting him do it for the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah, and you'll let him do it again and it will have been a one-off and you'll swear that you're never going to let him touch a sticker ever again. Yeah. I'm calling it. Mm. Uh, I saw a sign out front of her business on the way to um, Ballina that said ABC Bricks. Oh, really? Mm. I should have taken a photo, but it was along the freeway. I thought that wasn't such a good idea. We were going a bit fast. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, it's not that far down the road. But I saw it and I went, oh, it's kind of like me and Fricks. Yeah, that's on my name. <laughs> that was funny because it just, you know, jumped out at me. Ow. I had a thought the other day. If you ever wanted to change the name, you should change it to ABS. Aussie Brick Sheila. Bugger off. Yeah, but then it'd be ABS like the plastic. <laughs> Dad joke. Ow. <laughs> the joke is about it's giving me like chest pains. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I wish I was joking. <clears throat> oh, my God. What? Amy's husband said the same thing. No. What the to change the name to a ABS. No. <laughs> oh. What well, bloke is a bit bogany? Well, I didn't know what. What what what's the 
the equivalent of chick brick chick brick guy. What's, what's the equivalent of chick? Uh, dude? Dude. Hey, brick dude. Brick dude. But that's too American. Yeah. It's also like very 80s. The 90s. I'm a product of the 80s. And besides, I'm pretty sure there's already a brick dude out there. Although, you know, mm, differentiate with Aussie. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm a product of the 80s. I think ABB goes with ABC as well, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> Newbies might think that it stands for Aussie Brickhead Cherie. <laughs> I can totally change my name to that. Except for the <laughs> fact that all my socials are Aussie Brick Chick. I don't want to go through a name change. So I've been, I've gone by like the name Brick Chick. Um, I'm Bricklink, I'm Brick Chick um, AU, as in Aussie. So basically, I just took my Bricklink name and flipped it. I made myself Aussie Brick Chick and Sir Brick Chick Aussie. No, are you? Hi, Miss Ambie's in the chat. Hello, Miss Ambie. We're building the mini. The mini, the mini, not the beetle, the mini. My brain knew what I wanted to say. It came out wrong. You're not all boring me. I'm just very, very tired. I thought the sugar would help, but I think it's just putting me to sleep. Yeah, he, he can. This chop a chop sat tastes like a strawberry milk bill. Hmm. Tastes just like a strawberry milk bill. No, stop it. Oh, it does. It tastes just like a strawberry milk bill. I'm strawberry. totally going to go down to work and get a strawberry milk now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I went to work at 6 o'clock this morning. What an idiot. Ugh. Ugh. I was up at 7. I, I was up at five because we had to have Miss Taylor at the hospital at six a.m. for her operation. So, and I didn't pick them up from hospital until six p.m. So my girls have had a very long day. Oh, a very imagine. long day. And everything went well. Um, so far, hopefully this this is the one that fixes it. Poor. Poor little things, only 16 and already had three knee, uh, knee surgeries. Three? Oh, yeah. All because she fell off a skateboard crooked four years ago. Wow. Yeah, one of my friends from high school, by the time he was 18, two full knee reconstructions. Yeah. Can we talk about something uh, else? Uh, oh, that's right, it's your old. My reconstructed knee screaming in pain right now, just thinking about it. Oh, is it? I hate it. Anyone who's had knee problems, I wouldn't wish that on my work. It sucks. Well, I just came up with a really cool idea to make gates for my farm fence. My farm okay. fence. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's probably not new. I'm sure it's not. But it looks good on the table. So I've got to remove those parts from my store before Amy orders them. <laughs> <laughs> she's quick i tell you every time i have an idea and i think oh yeah i can use these she places an order and steals them off me <laughs> the only problem with having my inventory is my actual store and my building stock but you're not even sharing what your idea is and just buying all the parts no if i share she'll add them to a list and then put the order through now i'm not silly <laughs> she'd do it just to be nasty too I hope. No. Nah. Let's go. Amy, Amy, hold any ordering until Philip updates his inventory. I'm doing it now before she gets in.
Isn't it funny? You, <laughs> you, you, you come across an idea or whatever in, with Lego, and after you've, you've had the brainstorm and you've thought of it, then you think, oh, that's obvious. Huh. Or you see, like, something somewhere, like, afterwards, like, you think you thought of something unique, and then you see, like, 50 of it. Yeah. Right, you can't order those on me. Off me. <laughs> now to get the, last, the other one. Oh, this will be the hard one. Oh, shit, what is the number? I don't find. I don't know. I can hear it. So it's white. I've got tiles in different bags. Dougal says my dog nearly removed a comment by stepping on my phone. It's my <laughs> dog. Miss Amy says she's building the Star Wars stand crawler. No. Ooh, that little sand crawl is a pretty cool little build, actually. Couch was not designed for sitting on for hours at a time. No, it's more the, not designed for sitting on the edge of it for hours. No. Actually. It's best to lounge back like this, but it's not a very good angle. I still share a more a more dedicated space for doing this. Yeah, we need more space. Or we'd need to do what is it? That uh, that that what is it that organizational lady who goes, Hold it in your hand. Does it spark joy? No, get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Ah uh, She's like an organizational queen. She's like made millions of books and stuff. She's got something on Netflix at the moment, apparently. And she goes in and she helps people who, you know, basically have hoarding problems. Oh, yeah. Um, to organise well, their lives. If they don't have a hoarding problem, she makes them feel like they do. Yes. And she teaches you how, how to fold your clothes more um, economically so you can actually Wait. see all the clothes that you have in a drawer. You can fold clothes now? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, what is this, <laughs> what is this folding, folding thing? clothes thing? Uh, it's um, it's like how they do it in the Navy from what I can gather. Wow. Instead how of fold, fold and then roll. And how does that work with your floor drives? Because you stack them in rolls along the drawer, you can see everything that you own. Mm. Fun in that. <laughs> Jason says, lucky us Larry collectors aren't hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine her coming in and like picking up a brick and saying, does it spark joy? No, it sparks inspiration. Go away. <laughs> yeah. Like, Nobody wanted you to come in here. You're not invited. And she was like, You're like a vampire. And yes, I need 3,400 in 12 different colours. <laughs> and one day I'll figure out why. <laughs> and I might need it for a project. I've got a box upstairs of dirty, smashed up dinosaur park that I've still got to wash. Can't rush Flacker. these things. Flacker. I'm not a slacker. Slacker. Slacker's just busy. That's my excuse. You can't use that one. I've not been busy helping you get your Minecraft ready. That's a valid excuse. And then, and then, then you can get, you know, what all grumbly about how it's not how you want it. I'll just... As I build new buildings, whenever that happens, I'll start... 
swapping out the modified sets. Mm. He started designing his desert temple and then realised very quickly that the scale was going to be a bit too big. There's my idea for my fences. For my, sorry, for my gates. Oh, cool. That one, and if I can do it with, what, without... Oh, yeah, he's used like the... Um, Are they ladders? Doors. Yeah. Yeah, the, bar, the barred doors from prisons. Mm. And he's made the gates a bit like how they do Minecraft gates with the, with the brick with a clip, is it? Yeah, the brick with a clip with a normal one by one brick in between the two of them. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The only problem is to open the gate, you need to um, spin the whole brick. Oh. Uh, so honestly, don't open the gate. Don't leave the gate open, don't open the gate. But it looks good, and those gate, those gates, open door close, take up the space of three fences. Mm. So now I've got fences along the front. Diggler, are, are you going to ballast your tracks? Yes, I am. Nice. I've started collecting all the parts I need. You gotta need a lot more than that. I I know. Don't worry. That's only not even fifty bucks worth of stuff. Got another three hundred bucks worth. I've got to get yet. The hard part's yeah. gonna be the hard part's gonna be the one by four reddish brown tiles and the one by one reddish brown tiles. I know. When I went through my period of making lots of new micropolis blocks, that got very expensive very quickly. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I'll ballast them, but. The actual brown sleepers might actually have to be done piecemeal. Because when you need 520 one by ones and 260 one by fours, no one kind of carries those numbers. Oh, I'm not in Australia. I just pick them up as I'm placing orders for other stuff. I, I throw whatever brown, reddish brown tiles they've got in their store onto my order. That makes sense. It's the easiest way of doing it. You know, to get five here, you know, ten there, but that builds up after a while. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Of course, if Amy was smart, seeing how she's local and she bought, likes to get stuff off me, if she was smart, she would have worked out by now that she could probably trade me. <laughs> hey, I'm always up for a trade if there's something I need, and you've got it. Oh, looks like you're making progress. Um, we have a rear end. Rear end of the mini is done. Nice butt. Nice. Oh, the seats. Yeah, the patchwork on the seats is cool. That's really nice. Nice detail. Mm, all little one by one tiles, too. Fiddly. Mm -hmm. oh, I get to make the, the picnic basket now. How much more do you want to do with this before we... I've only got one more set of bags left. Oh, you nearly finished? Yeah. Okay. Only a thousand pieces. In that case, I am going to adjourn for a moment and I'll be back. Okay, dog. Don't forget to talk. We talk. Oh, talk, 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 talk. Talk, talk, talk. talk. <laughs> That's a lot of talking. Oh, yeah. Without actually saying anything. Yeah. That's the best sort of talking. At least he wasn't yelling. Yell, 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 yell. <laughs> all caps, all caps, all caps, all caps. <laughs> caps, 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 caps. Stop yelling. Keyboard warriors. 
think I've got enough room to make a little wheat field on my table. God damn it. Oh. Damn you, Billsy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm blaming you. Oh, it's them. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you, but I'm going to blame you anyway. Yeah, I've got Mel worried. I've brought one too many city sets and I have plans on buying more. But not to make a city, but she's worried that that's where it's, that's where it's going to head. Oh. Because she knows it, the, the minute I buy my first um, modular or my first creator set, it's all over. I, I like freaking her out. Every time we go into Toy World, I have a look at all the creator sets and all the modulars he's got on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, come on, you don't need to look at that. Look at the Star Wars. Look at the pretty Star Wars. Like, yeah, damn it. You say that now when she knows I've got them all. Yeah, I'll just, just keep saving them money. There'll probably be another UCS set coming out this year. Oh, I hope it's the Tandy 4. That's what the rumor is. Hopefully it's just something they've never done before. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be all up for a UCSA win. I think a lot of people would be. I'd actually even be interested in a UCS Cloud City from the outside, like the actual Cloud City. The whole mushroom shape. Yeah, something like they did with the, the Harry Potter castle. Yeah. Uh, it'd have to be pretty full on with detail being a UCS set, not another play set. It's got to be UCS, proper UCS. Yeah. And not another sand crawler or another Death Star. Or another X Wing, for God's sake. Yeah, I can see it being, oh, I'd love it as an SSD. I'd have a heart attack. But I'm happy with a UCS A Wing, Tandy 4. Even a new um, UCS starter trial, just standard ISD. The three sets I don't actually have, so I'll yeah, hands on those. Hopefully, if they do bring, I heard the the normal starter story had lots of issues with the panels falling off. Yeah, the UCS one. The yeah, mag the magnet system was dodgy. Well, I know someone who got one of those and actually bought a second set of the magnets just to keep everything. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that. All there. Oh, well, that's... The first book is done. Cool. Done skis. Can you set yeah. up one more bag to go? Yeah. One more set of bags. Yeah. You know that they need to release the three wheel, one of those Pommy three wheel cars now. Oh. Uh, Mr. Bean's arch nemesis drove uh, one of the three. Oh, the, the Robin. Yeah, the yeah, Reliant Robin. They need to release one of them now, so you can chase it around with your mini. Yeah, and I thought that would make Billsy happy. Bills are happy. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty pretty odd that they call a three real car a reliant. Yeah, exactly. Um, if they if they brought one of those out, would you actually make the mini sand blue? Maybe. <laughs> It'd have to, wouldn't you? You'd have to. Hang on, no, the reliant Robin was sand blue, wasn't it? The reliant was sand blue. Yeah. Yeah. What's Mr. Bean's car? Just a light green, isn't it? His, his was lime green. Yeah, lime. Um, I think with a black bonnet, maybe, from memory. Yeah. Uh, yep. I reckon you should do it, Billsy. Hmm. Billsy. I reckon you should do it. Well, someone's probably already done a, a mock one. Yeah. Um, of Mr. Bean driving the... Uh, the car with his famous lounge chair and mop handle. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw someone do that in Miniland scale. Uh, yeah, quite a few people have done it over over the years. Kale had one on his display in Melbourne that was quite good. I 
But I think there's been images of it on Flickr for quite a few years now. Yeah. Seems to have resurfaced every now and again. And I didn't actually have a missing piece. It was in the next set of bags. How weird. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it showed it on the picture. Mm hmm Oh, it was definitely the right part of the instruction. They just put it in the wrong bag. Wow. So, no missing pieces. Is this extra Just piece? in the wrong bag. I'm just putting it in there so they're out of the way. But they were in the picture. Yeah. It was just put in the wrong bag. Yeah, I know. I don't know how that one works, but... That's how it went. Who picked that? I'm just going to go and grab a drink. Oh. Are we there yet? Oh, no. Let me put it back left. Yeah, I'm almost there too. I'm going to the last 30 pages. Mm. Oh. Um... There, there are numbers on these bags, as yes. you've already seen. I was hope, wishing, you know, please they be number bags, please be number bags. The camper was. van, being an old one, did not have numbered bags. It was a nightmare of organisation. Well, I'm still using the containers. Yeah, these clear containers are really handy. If you live in Australia, these are a Kmart. This is not a sponsored video <laughs> and um they're designed for your fridge apparently you can get them in um many different shapes and sizes but the best part is they have little rubber stopper feet on the bottom of them so it stops them from sliding on your table they stay put mm. yeah that's a really cool feature i th I think the best part, though, is that you can do this and look for your bit underneath when you can't see it at the top after 20 minutes of looking. Yeah, that is the best bit because quite often bits hide underneath each other and you can just look and go, oh, there it is. Yep. I just like the fact that if it's if I can't see it too far away, I can just bring the whole lot to me and look for it. Better than just having them sprawled across the table. Yeah, I don't have to convert this one to right-hand drive. That's already right-hand drive? Yeah. Sweet. I think the London bus is the only one I'll leave. So did you end up using all the um, containers, like these containers when you're doing the Minecraft at the show? You didn't end up, I packed them thinking you might want them. No. And you didn't end up using them at all. No. You just pulled stuff out of the staff lock bags, didn't you? Well, I didn't have to put that many bricks on. The only thing that I have to do. No, I was thinking you might want to, like, pour out the mini figures into it. No, we just, just pour onto the display. I just poured them onto the display and went from there. Yep. Yeah. Neanderthals. <laughs> Whatever works. Yes, man. Neanderthals. I'd like to think I'm more intelligent than a Neanderthal. Uh, it's debatable. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny. Douglas says, my dilemma. I can pay my Reggio every three months or in one hit. The Lego release dates are making the three months look very attractive. That's uh -huh. <laughs> uh, what Afterpay and Zip Pay are for. Jason says, heard the 20th anniversary Star Wars sets are going to be remakes, remakes of old sets, each with a special minifig and a printed base in each set. set. Mm. 
to be interesting to see. Mm. So more pod races and Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and tiny, tiny Anakin. Douglas, are you going to design a Lego funnel for filling snap lock bags? Because normal funnels are too small. Oh, it's too small unless you're using like studs. I think studs will go through a large funnel. Maybe if you, oh. Yeah, I don't think funnels for like um, fuel would be big enough either for like bigger bricks. Probably not. Something like a chip scooper at KFC. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something that you can get like that. I have a um a bead sorter that's like that. It has a wide open sort of square um scoopy bit and then the handle has it's hollow and it has a tube so all the beads go down the tube. So that you can do that very same thing, put beads in snap lock bags. Just go to KFC and tell them you didn't get your chip scooper with your last order and see if they'll give you one. <laughs> I think they're pretty expensive, those things. Mm. Actually, that gives me an idea. I might might um repurpose the tupperware scoops that i've got but like i use them for the things that are living and growing in the tupperware living and growing i used to bake a lot didn't i yeah it goes one once upon a time once upon a time long before lego my wife used to bake things and cook me roast dinner yeah. I don't know, ages. I don't have time. And You've got to be home for that too. And then she got busy. You also need a uh, a personal loan to afford a decent roast lamb these days. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, if, if you're lucky, you might get some hoggett when it's on special. Yeah. Okay. Hoggett um, dressed as lamb. It's a bit tougher. Tastes about the same, just a bit tougher. So we employ the low and slow. Mm, yes. Low and slow, baby. Low and slow. <laughs> you also trick the trainee into giving you this scoop. Mm. Yeah, I think they get shot. I think they get in trouble. Yep. What have you lost? Just need another black one. Black one what? Grilly thing. Grilly thing? Yes, grilly thing. Are you looking in the right pile? Yes. Because that's where I found their first one. Okay. Have you just moved it? I found it? Yes. Yay, I helped. She says with great enthusiasm. <laughs> it was helpful. I'm not good at being parts monkey because usually by the time I've picked it, he's three steps ahead of me. This one. <laughs> Google says the grocery store he works in, the legs always get marked down. Probably because people can't afford them at full price. Yep. Accurate. Oh, if they don't get stolen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, aren't there stories about people who, like, stick, like, a whole turkey or something down their pants? Ooh. Or up, up the shirt, like, and they pretend that they're, like, pregnant or something? 
remember when Douglas told us that someone tried to steal a hot chook oh, yeah, by sticking hot, it down their pants. Hot chook sticking it down their pants. Oh, my God. Wouldn't it be worse the third degree burns? You're desperate for some hot chook to be doing that. Um, yeah. If I remember rightly, the story went somewhere along the lines of they caught the guy, but nobody wanted the chicken back. Ah, uh, that's right. I remember he him saying that. He down his pants and he looked a bit feral. I was like, nah, keep the chicken, mate. Seriously. <laughs> Have it as your last uh, free freedom meal. Just don't do it again. I've heard of stuffing, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> But yeah, oh, I've I've heard I've heard do, oh, doozies of stories about um people sticking things down their underwear <laughs> and trying to steal it. Like meat, meat is the big one apparently. I would never do that. Ugh. It'd be no. interesting to have a job as a um someone who is employed to go into stores and steal things. Who would be employed to do that? Yeah, <laughs> Miss Ambi says, best story ever. Not my story, Douglas. Douglas has some <laughs> has the best stories. I remember one time I was working in office works and I was like on the the head out, like the one with the big desk behind it where people bring their um used to bring their uh, refunds and and exchanges to. Of course, office works all all been rejigged since then, but they used to have this really big counter and they'd have like register one. This guy went past, I swear, he had like a broken arm and he had a cash register, like a boxed cash register in the other arm. And he was trying to walk out the door without paying for it and thought nobody would notice. Mm. And I was just like, like, Quickly call over the store manager. Um, I'm pretty sure that guy's stealing that cash register. They waited for him to walk out the door and then they apprehended him <laughs> and said, oh, um, uh, Are you planning on paying for that, sir? <laughs> Is there a cash register in your pocket or are you just happy to? See <laughs> I mean, it's a massive box. I don't see how he thought. Like, I, I don't think he had it under his arm. I think he might have had it in a trolley. I'm trying to remember, it was a very long time ago. It was back when De Declan was a little wee baby, tiny. Back when he was cute. Back when he was cute and didn't talk back so much. He must have had a very, very unhappy wife because if there's enough room in his pants for a cash register, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't down his pants. No, this. Oh. This wasn't wasn't, wasn't a, a down your pants kind of stealing. Oh. Um, I, I've also watched a lot of people. They walk past and they like hold things against their body on the opposite side from what what you see, and they walk briskly past you, like you know, you won't see them. Like they wait until you're busy, and. Yeah. Yeah, usually by the time they whisk past you and they're out the door so quickly you can't do anything. But, mm. I know someone when um, bag checking first became a thing, it, it came out in all those sorts of places. Where yeah. You couldn't go in, or, in and out without being basically nasty for your bag. And this guy, this guy I knew said, watch this, I'll prove a point. He walked into Kmart. Five minutes later, he walked out. And when he walked in, he had nothing on his head. When he walked out, he had a pair of sunnies on his head. Tag and everything still attached. Walked over to us and said, that's how easy it is. Put him back on his head, walked back in, put him back on the shelf and walked back out again. <laughs> and no one better than I did. Crazy. Doesn't surprise me. Hey. Oh, oh they, they had some dodgy tricks. Like, um... You see people go, it happens a lot in Kmart. They go to try on shoes and then they'll leave their shoes behind and they'll walk out the door with the new oh, shoes. Oh, yeah, yeah, putting on four pairs of shorts or multiple pairs of undies. You see it all if you work in retail long enough. It's unbelievable. Yeah, well, they come in wearing daggy old clothes and they, they dump them and, and come out wearing new clothes. 
not that I, you know, uh, not that I um, condone theft, but um, oh, I've seen homeless people do it. Well, I have to admit, I'm very anti theft up again after working in retail for 99% of my adult life. Yeah. It's the one thing I agree with the Arabs on cut their hands off. My mum. Uh, my mum um, worked at the Salvos for a while at their um, retail store and she said um, people come in all the time and they, they take their old shoes off and they put a new pair on and walk out the door. <laughs> wow. The Salvos, um, they don't believe in prosecuting people, so they're like, well, if they needed it that badly, then they you know, obviously needed it. Or in their head, you know, they've got mental issues or whatever and think that that's just how it works, that, you know, if you leave something behind, you know, it's okay. No, yeah, it happens a lot with the shoes. It's a shoe thing. Douglas says Bill has no room for theft in his pants, apparently. <laughs> That's right. Boom, boom. Ba -dum Ralph DeBrill says, uh, I love it when they ask, you plan on paying for that? Why, no, I thought you'd all give it to me for free. Am I wrong? <laughs> huh. One of my mates as a kid walked into Kmart and went to walk out and you had a Mars bar and they tried to pull him up for it. So he ate the, ate the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prove that, prove that I stole this Mars bar from you. He, he just ate it right in front of him. Wow. To him, he's not that smart because they said, okay, give us the wrapper. It's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah, like, these boring. days we've got surveillance cameras everywhere. Yeah, yeah, this is back in the early 80s. Douglas asked, if you are squatting, are you homeless? Hmm. Depends on the value, like, of the property that you're squatting in and whether it's it actually... If your name's not on the lease for that property, you're a squatter. Get out. Apparently squatters have what? rights, Philip. Yeah, no, they don't. They're just elaborate names. Get out. <laughs> Ralph says, no, nah, that's like renting without payment. If you know you're not on the lease or on the property deed, get the hell out. Oh, okay. So the so-called homeless at Douglas's store are squatters. I think if you're living in something that's abandoned and should be condemned, that's not – I would count that as homeless. Little form of speed, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, how many times have you heard the uh, "if it doesn't scan, it must be free" line? Oh. <laughs> it's scan that. Oh, it must be free. Mm. Joke well, about that. Oh, doesn't have a price tag on. Must be free. That all depends on if the uh, company is part of the code of practice or not. The scanning code of practice. Most companies have moved away from it now, but it used to be a thing. Yeah, it used to be a thing if if it didn't scan the right price. Like if the price was more expensive, you get it for free. Yeah, that came in where barcoders came in in the late eighties because everyone was worried that they were going to pay more for their groceries. So the scanning code of conduct was created, and all the all the majors were part of it. But over the last X amount of years. A lot of them have dwindled away from it. But if you go to the honest little independents, like your IGAs and whatnot, they're all still part of it. It's only the big boys that aren't. Bilza, in your Tandy days, did you ever have um, a woman come into your store and try and steal something by attaching it to a necklace or an earring? Uh, I can't say I did. We had that. Wow. Yeah, that's that's some pretty brazen thievery right there. 
We used to have people like when they brought in the clam gel packaging, you know, the, the thermoplastics that are sealed. Oh, yeah. When, when they brought those in, we'd have people that are come in, they surreptitiously like slit the merchandise and like hide it, like, you know, further back or something like that. And then they come back for it later or they'd hide it in a different spot. They come for, back for it later. And they steal the product from inside of it. Because, yeah. of course, they'd know exactly where all the cameras were. Yeah. They'd find a dead spot and they'd open it up, wait until there's no staff around, boom, got themselves real, really expensive something, something. That's why now these days you get, like, little cards on the shelves. Go pick this up at the counter. Yep. Kind of ridiculous. Or if you go to Costco, you'll get a memory card that big in a packaging that big so that you can't put it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I know when I um, went to buy my selfie stick, and, oh, my God, I love my new selfie stick. It was so good. Like, can't even start to say how, how much better it was um, than my old one. One button for a start, so... I wasn't like pressing the wrong button and stopping and starting at the wrong times. Huh. Well, that's good. That was that was good for a start, and like because it's made out of a metal alloy, it's really, really, really light. So, but not too light that I'm like going like this. But that came like it was just a big bit of cardboard. Yep. You pay, you pay for the big pay for the big bit of cardboard, and then give you a receipt and say go over that. Wait in line, pick up your objects. <laughs> like, okay, I want to wait in line to pay for it and then wait in line to pick it up. Nice. Good selfie stick, though. I didn't get a chance to use my um my clip on lenses, though. It was just so busy. I have to help him. Didn't I? Yeah. And then it got to a point where it was just so loud in the other room, like, because the retail was actually in a second room. So it was, like, bigger room here and then a small secondary sort of room. Or, like, a foyer, I guess I'd call it. Yeah. Like, there, and then there was, like, an exit out. And, oh, my God, it got so loud in the bigger room. I come into the smaller room for a bit of quiet. Plus, we had a couch in the corner. Yeah, that was good. That was good. It actually drew a lot of people that were, um, you know, um, staff and whatnot, um, exhibitors at the show. It drew them to the couch. They're like, you've got a couch. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. It was a pretty comfy couch, too. Yeah. That's always good. Mm. Really? Put one in one bag and the other thing in there. And then go. You're asking for logic? Yep. Logic doesn't live here. They're becoming more and more like a car. Hey, hey Bill. Yeah. Have you ever gotten somebody who's bought a product that clearly belongs to a different, like, brand line that isn't made by the retail, that uh, isn't stocked oh, by the retail? Lady. Like, has somebody come in and have a bang up argument with you about returning something that doesn't belong in your store? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you get that all the time at Tandy. You used to get that all the time at Tandy. Yep. Uh, I got one lady. Dick Smith. That's nice. Take it back to Dick Smith. But aren't you owned by Dick Smith? Yep. Get out. Uh, <laughs> when I worked at Cartridge World, I had this one lady who tried to have a bang up argument with me over a compatible cartridge that she clearly bought from a competitor. Yeah. And she was like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You know, you need to exchange it. I'm like, looking at it going, we don't sell this brand. Yeah. 
it, I bought it from here. I only buy things from here. I'm like thinking, no, you didn't. Um, yeah, we don't sell this brand. <gasps> she tried to get me fired. Wow. Well, the, who do you think the whole, oh, obviously you don't know who I am sort of crap as well. Yeah, I was like, who the hell are you? Who do you have? I don't know who the hell she thought she was. It wasn't anyone special because I didn't mm. know who she was. But, um, yeah, she was really rude and, like, yelled at me and cried. I used to love the ones you'd get. They were on holidays and they'd come in and they'd pick up a stink about something. And, mm. like, and, their, and their winning argument would be, I know such and such is the manager of this store. It's like, well, take it back to him then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, nice. My favourite line to painting the house customers was always, I'd give them a card with phone number written on it. So there's consumer affairs phone number. Off you go. Yep. Do the service. Go and ring them. Well, it was funny. Cause this they lady, beat, obviously. This lady, lady tried to get me fired and my um, the owners of the franchise stood up for me and said that they believed that I was, in, you know, in the right. And that, um, yeah, basically, you know, she pushed me to the point where I was like, you know, not as nice as I usually am <laughs> and pushed all my buttons. So I, I, I must have said something that you know, I probably shouldn't have said. And, uh, you know, they basically apologized for that but said, look, you know, she wasn't in the wrong. You, your product doesn't belong in our store. Feel free, you know, and she turned around and said, I'm never coming back to your store again. I'll only go to the one in Marishadil because I used to work in Budrum. And I'm like thinking, good. Out of need, you're okay in here. Really as they, um, the owners actually own the one in Marishadil too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she knew that. Okay. I think she knew that. But, um... Yeah. Well, if she didn't, it's like, well, they're getting her money anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. I just, like, we don't care. We're getting her money anyway. Yeah. Is Cartridge World still a thing? Yeah, it is. Surprisingly, in, you know, in this day and age of compatible stuff, uh, they went the way of not the dodo bird. They moved with the times and they no longer do refilling. Last I checked. Oh. Or if they do, like, they you know, it's only until the inks for that particular brand run out. Because I used to always refill my own stuff. One of the perks of my job was that I could refill my cartridges for free. Which mm. was brilliant, wasn't it? Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Free ink. I could print as much as I liked and it didn't cost me anything by electricity to run it. I guess that now with their print. I know. Printers are so expensive. <laughs> I mean, I may have been grossly underpaid and they may have never I may never have seen all my superannuation properly, but oh yes, I saved a lot of money on ink. <laughs> Oh dear. I think it's wrong quiet in the live chat. Oh, hang on. It didn't scroll. That's what the problem is. <laughs> Stupid phone. Makeup is worse. Find so many empty packs. Or like the CMS in plastic boxes so you can't fill them up. No, that's more to do with so that people can't slit them open and steal the bits that they want. They don't even steal the whole minifig. Yeah, yeah what's with that? Uh, and vitamins. We have security seals for baby formula now. Diapers and baby formula, things that go out the door a lot around here, says Ralph Jabril. Yes, Safeway milk, for, ex for instance. I can tell con artists um, to get out of the shop or I'll call the cops. Oh, that's yeah. right. That was Douglas, wasn't it? About the Safeway milk? Yes. That's a Victorian thing, Safeway. Yeah, it is. It's just it's Woolies. Woolies. 
Um, it's just called Safeway down there. Yeah, no, this lady was not con us. So I think she was just genuinely stupid. And I can say that now because much time has passed. Um, <laughs> genuinely stupid and uninformed. Um, a lot of people that walk into these sorts of shops really have no idea what they're doing or what they're buying or what they want. Um, it takes quite a lot of skill to get out of them what they actually need. But on the other side, all the things I've learned about printers, I still use to this day. I, I fix the printers when they're misbehaving at work. Unless it's like, you know, electrical or technical issue. But just your basic stuff like, you know, some idiots put the paper in wrong. So it keeps on jamming. Or that, you know, I haven't printed enough stuff lately. So, you know, it's been really wet and damp and all curls. I think one of the things I hated the most working in computer retail was when people came in saying, oh, I need this, 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 and this in the computer. It's like, oh, okay. And you talk for it, talk with them for a little while and realise they didn't need half of what they just said. Yeah. It was their know-it-all best mate who was standing next to them telling them they needed all this stuff. Oh. It's like, oh, so your mate wants to play high-end games on your computer, but you just want to use, you just want to write letters and check email and surf the web. So, <laughs> You're getting caught. Biggest way to make the best friend look like a complete tool bag. That's funny. Uh, Ralph says, I miss when printers were cheaper than today. Ink lasted longer too. Yeah, um, a while back they um, st introduced the idea of, um, uh, what do you call them, sample cartridges that came with your printer. So it wasn't a, like, you think that you're buying a full-size cartridge of that particular brand and number. It would actually be like a half or a quarter cartridge. It and stacks it on the box, but it's always in such small writing on the back that you don't realise unless you do your research. Canon, Canon were good at doing that with their printers. Uh, Canon is shocking. Canon have pretty good quality prints. Same thing with Epson. Like, they have good quality inks and printing and stuff, but, oh, they're not very economical. There's a Canon you can get right now from Big W for back to school. That is um, nineteen dollars. As you walk in Big W, there's a whole stack of them in the three I went in anyway. Oh, Canons? The, or? The war, yeah, they're Canon uh, scanner printer combos. And oh, um, that's disgusting. You might as well buy ten of them, and once the ink runs out, just throw it out. Oh yeah, but the warning on the box tells you that it prints ten pages with the sample cartridge. Oh my god! Ten pages. That is shocking. And I but bet you're getting the replacement cartridges will cost you like 120 bucks. But you're getting the hardware for 19 dollars. Basically, they're giving you the hardware for nothing. Yep. And there's, you know, it's it's like the um, replaceable blades on a shape on a razor um, model. They yep. sell you the, the actual physical expensive thing for next to nothing on the basis that you're stuck having made an investment in it. Uh, you're stuck having to buy their cartridges for the life of the machine, which is usually like about two years. Yep. So they're, they're actually selling you the, you know, the indebtitude to buying their product for two years. Yep. And Douglas says, I love people who come in looking for Aldi brands. But my wife told me to get it here. I in cartridges cost next to nothing to make. Yep, that is correct. Yeah, ink is the most expensive liquid on earth. You think it'd be like Chanel number no. five or something, but no, nope, it's ink. But to actually make it isn't that expensive. The markup is just insane. But well, I remember the days when printers used to be more expensive and inks used to be a lot cheaper. No one really prints anymore like we used to anyway, though. Yeah, I guess things are going a lot more electronic these days and um, places like Officeworks so you can go and do digital printing now. So 
like why why would you want to keep a printer at home for the convenience of the you might need to print you know once a month or something like that when you can just go to office works and digital print something we used to have to have them at home for school but now the kids can print at school you don't even need it for that yeah that's true yeah our son has a um you have a print credit and you print off stuff but a lot of his stuff is actually handed in digitally like either emailed or um handed over on a usb stick yeah that's exactly right dark so you would have remembered the day when uh or the days when Caladad ink first came out and tandy was the only place in australia you could buy it and the amount of people that would come back for a refund because they couldn't get the needle in right Yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Caladad ink is awful, though. Oh, yeah, but it was the first of its kind. Oh, I know, but the colors were always not quite right. Like, mm. and it was so easy to bugger up. Now, I remember, I, I remember buying those when I had one of my first printers. Yeah, like, I remember refilling mum and dad's cartridges with that thing and oh my god it was a pain in the ass yeah yeah so difficult i used to just turn the print the cartridge upside down and just drop it onto the end of it and it's yeah. so kept at the bottom uh, Dougal, what's that um ink uh, ink cartridges cost nothing to make giant kong same with glass frames cost like three dollars to make and charge like three hundred five hundred one thousand dollars it's so all one company, glass frames, Oakley, Ray-Ban, all the designer brands, all one company. Ralph's, Ralph DeBrill says, I know, I used to work for them. So like, Douglas says, Sunglasses Hut, Specsavers, OPSM, all the same company. Well, there you go. That is true. I have finished my Porsche. Da, 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 da. It's a strange looking Porsche. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say the pause? You finished your Bugatti, did you? It's because yeah. it's orange. But yeah, it's because it's orange, and I really want the Porsche. Um, no, my I finished my Corvette. <laughs> but, um, the the pistons in the engine go when the wheels turn. Oh, cool. Grum, like, grum. except when you're on camera but it's a uh it's yeah a cool little almost porsche looking corvette That's in porsche. porsche orange in porsche orange it confused you by being in porsche orange i think that's the closest i'm going to get to a porsche to be honest so, so basically it's a porvette yeah it's a porvette John built his Porsche. You can touch his Porsche. That sounded naughty. That did. That really did. Oh, I wasn't up at um, Big Dub when it was on a good special. I'm hanging out for the Bugatti. Yeah. To go to Dub. Then throw it on the Christmas lay by. Yeah. You can buy, you can buy Tim's off his. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, unlike some people, he'll actually own it. <laughs> and not blame the wife for not having it anymore. Jeffy, do you really need it? Do you, do you really, really, need really need it? Do you really need it? Do you really, really need it? Yes. Uh, it will complete me. When do I when do I get my comeuppance? When do I get to spend that much money on a single set? When they release a Unikitty Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that'd be quite interesting, actually. That would be interesting. The Porsche and Unikitty Porsche. I reckon colors. like a Hello Kitty. Ooh. Nice. I think my problem is, is that I like to mock stuff more than yeah. my sets. So not really a set builder. I've not really like mocked anything much. Anything in about a year you're not really a collector like i am well i collect minifigures i collected briquettes but they've discontinued those yeah, sad face. i collect modulars but you know 
there's only one of those a year. Well, they cost as much. Most. Oh, yeah. But he also wants them, so that totally doesn't count. Oh, they're cool. Like, we'll wait till um, Corner Garage hits Maya with its... <laughs> oh, or David Jones, because we're going to have a David Jones very soon. Well, that's what I should have built tonight, the Corner Garage. Probably would have taken long as this guy right? His slash bloods will get you every time. Mm. <laughs> Rafter Bill says, Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want Lego. My problem is, is that I'm not a planner, am I? No. I, I like to free build, so, like, I really just need a studio full of, like, all of the bricks I could possibly ever want and some of the ones I never knew I wanted and then just build. Mm. Yes. Good luck running that door and lucky door price on the... I don't know. Time. One of those boxes had windscreens in it. Said every a fault ever. I know, right? I looked at who, whoever it was that won it, and I'm like, oh, I've never seen them before. Oh, that's 45 boxes. My God. Yeah, no. Wouldn't you hate it if you lived out of state and flew in? So the person that won it wasn't an AFOL, but they were there supporting some AFOLs? Yeah, I know. I was, like, I was looking at them going, I don't know that person. Like, surely I know the face of most people in the community in Melbourne. There was, I looked at and went, mm. Yeah, there was quite a few whingers that were upset that a non a won it, and it was just like... Cool. Cool. Oh, her a friends are now going to get lots of Lego. Exactly. Or she'll very quickly become one of us. One of us. One I like I like the post I saw on Facebook. Someone asked if she was single. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Oh look! After she won it and went up and started talking to the the Lego store guys, the amount of instant friends she had surrounding her was oh, yeah. uh, was quite quite big, uh, including one that we know quite well. But yeah, the amount of instant friends she had was. Uh, yeah. yeah. Really, that's that's a bit. That's sad. That is really sad. It was a very busy night, though. I heard that they ran out of that that mixed pick a brick by the bucket too. Um, they did run out of it, but in their defence, they would have gone through a hundred or a hundred and fifty buckets, okay. which that's a lot of pab. That's a lot of pab. And and ten litre buckets mm. are big. Mm. So like I bought one and Jody bought one, so that's twenty litres of mixed pab that uh we've been sorting through. Uh which is brilliant because it's all clean and shiny. Unlike, unlike a bulk lot. Um so yeah. And and there was there was a mix of stuff in there. There was good stuff, there was boring stuff. Um, I've started to see a few photos of people have created with the stuff. Yeah, I saw one get posted on Oslug or somewhere. Yeah. He's like, oh, this is what I built out of the um the pad mix. The pad bucket. And he built like a mech and all sorts of stuff out of it. Effect effectively, you're getting seven or eight large cups for the price of two. So it's a win-win. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, Ch Chadston gets rid of all the crap that they can't move. And a lot of people leave happy. Then we yeah. their their pub wall was no no different to Dreamworld. Every element on their pub wall we we get here in Queensland as well. Yeah, the only difference is that theirs probably doesn't get cleaned out quite so fast. Oh, I, they they might have more uh, buying power than the LCS. I think they might. I think their stockpile is a lot bigger. Yeah, you might just be fine that they may be able to store more on site. 
Yeah. I think I think it might be more of a case that they're actually allowed to buy more at a time off Lego. Yeah. Um, I think the problem with the Dreamwell store is that it's um the you know the higher ups and management that aren't actually attached to the retail at all that have the final say on what gets ordered. Like you know, they set the budgets and stuff. So I guess that limits what's what they actually can order. Ah, Douglas said he was like Lotto friends. When the Lotto, all of a sudden, you've got all these friends you didn't know you had. Yeah, and second and third and fourth cousins. Yeah. Sounds like it was fun, though. I mean, we, we stopped at Dreamworld and, and picked some ticket for cups. That, that Actually, the good thing about Chadson is the two large for fifty makes them makes them twenty five each instead of thirty each. Mm. It helps. Yeah, that is good. Good mm -hmm. price, definitely. I think we got four pick a brick cups worth of stuff. Although one was for RRB, um, but we got four pick a brick worth of stuff as well. Oh, that's good. I suppose at Dreamworld they have the VIP points, so after so many cups, you get a free cup. Can't remember. Yeah, well, Chadston have nothing. They don't have any type of VIP point. No VIP, no discount. Nope. Actually, I think you get a discount of some sort if you have um, an annual pass. Maybe. Unless they discontinue that after the first year. I'm pretty sure there was like a 10% or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. What? Yeah. Water. Water. Another one of those. Oh, no. You didn't drop it on the floor. Oh, sorry. Did this ask what are the trans blue bits that you got? ABC. Oh, there were studs. AK. Also. That's that's the one. One by one trans blue rounds. Yep. They walk out the door and drive. And surprisingly, there was still some left when we came back on Monday. It wasn't much, but it wasn't a lot. I think it was just the bit that we left behind. I was shocked that, you know, there was actually more stuff left over. Hmm. Haven't put something in the wrong spot, have you? No. There's no other piles left over. <laughs> I check the book. I went like this in the book. I feel like the lump was there. Yeah, transparent pieces are pretty. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was in the tire. <laughs> Found it. That's funny. Oh, geez, Henry, grace us with your presence again. You missed all the fun. Mm. Oh, my gosh, did we not get silly on, on Friday night? <laughs> yeah. It, it was short, but it was entertaining. Yeah. I wondered if um, James had been drinking. I don't know what James was on. Was it the red cordial? Yeah, that was interesting. Very interesting. It was like you was channeling Timmy. First time I've ever done a stream walking through the streets of Melbourne. Uh, usually it's Bilzy that does the walking the streets of somewhere. and Usually, usually it's driving. after midnight. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, he was there. Yeah, it was fun walking with you. And the yeah. four JB Hi-Fi stores, one after another. I know. What is with that? Yeah, that was that was full on. James was saying like no. one for cameras, one for, for movies, one for death. Yeah, they they all had their own department. Yeah. So they're kind of like all smaller ones in heritage listed buildings, so they couldn't change them, but they need to be in that area. So they just had multiples everywhere. You know, like that was in um, Queen Street Mall. Yeah. They had that little one around the back yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. It was probably the same thing, heritage listed yeah. buildings. <laughs> oh, and, 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 and that apartment you're staying in. Oh, my God. That was like a postage stamp. It was so tiny. Oh, the Airbnb, yeah, with a with a connecting window between the beds. My little door slips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although I must admit, I have seen those those sorts of things in motels before. It's huh? not an out of the ordinary thing. I've seen it before. Yeah, I haven't seen it between beds. I've seen it for like. A bathroom, like an ensuite, so that you can sit in the bath and have a view through the bedroom window. But I've never seen it from a, a queen bed straight into a single bed, um, where you can literally reach the person in the next room and tuck them in. Maybe it was originally a um, a one bedroom apartment. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, They've chucked a wall in. No. Mm. That maybe where your bed was was actually sort of like a. An alcove, or yeah, I think that was like the lounge room. To be honest, yeah. so... <laughs> then then my... it, it was very small, but it did the job. I mean, when Brick Pension's on the same weekend as the Australian Open, you don't have a lot of choice. No, yeah, um, but we did well. It was half the price of a hotel. I know when it comes to accommodation next year, if we're wanting to book, book a lot of people, we're going to have to get in early. Yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> Somebody asked if it's the kind of motel that charges by the hour. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> kind of looks no, like it. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> the little voyeur's window. Yeah. Well, that I know anything about the, I don't know anything about things like that. All right. Well, I'm going to have to jump out because I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm not far from finished anyway. We're pretty yeah. close. I can see the end. I know you're close. I'm doing, doing the roof doing now, the roof. so I'm not far off. He's so close. Bill's like, I can't hold on. I need to sleep. I think the problem is that my body clock is still on New South Wales time. Like, I could have slept in this morning, but I, like, woke up at 6. Because 6 is 7 o'clock. Yeah, I just stay in Queensland time. <laughs> well, we have to be in New South Wales time. Which meant waking up early, but your body didn't want to go to sleep earlier. Yeah. So, like, you're having really long days and then not getting a lot of sleep. And oh my God, the beds were horrible. My toes are beds are. And they were too cheap. <laughs> you know how cheap mattresses are? There's like no, like, hopper to them. Yep. Yeah. It was a cheap mattress, and it was a hard, cheap mattress. I could have forgiven them if it was a softer, cheap mattress. But, ah. You could feel every spring. Yeah, a box spring. And if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, uh, I was so exhausted by the time I was tired, I just passed out, like, slept for a few hours, and then I'm, like, awake. Poof. Oh, my God, this bed is so uncomfortable. Uh. He's nearly there. Nearly there. 
so close. Okay. I'm concentrating now. <laughs> Get a camper hen that is conveniently broken down in front of brick bench, and that would be the way to go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, hey, could you imagine the parking fines? Well, the parking fines wouldn't be worth it. Actually, there's a Best Western that's a very short walk. It's practically across the road. That's probably the closest motel. Oh, there's quite a few around there. Yeah, we. St I think we stayed at the Best Western and Travel Lodge, which is a, um, in the opposite direction about, oh, what a... 700 meter walk or something like that. Oh, yeah. It doesn't seem much when you hear it like that. It's close that. to um, Ligon oh. Street. But Yeah, very close to Ligon Street. But when you have to cross this street and that street and that street and this street, it makes it a long walk. But we were like six tram stops away, so we didn't have to walk far at all. Tram was right outside our door and then the tram stopped at the at the end of the park outside Brickvention, so we didn't have to walk far at all. Yeah. Oh, well, don't you worry. I'll be pecking your brain. Yep. What, do you think you missed something? I just got a lot of jump plates locked over. Uh, let's just finish it up. You can figure it yeah. out later. Oh, it's all done now. It could be I have my mini. Mini, 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 mini. mini, mini. Yay. finished. Cool. Even if it has stickers. Yeah, it only has six, eight, mm. eight stickers. So is that in scale to the poor vet? The fake Porsche, yeah, it's about the same. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Huh? That's cool. What do you oh, think okay. of the build? Oh, it's cute. Very cool. Very easy to skip steps, though. Yeah. The green's really nice, too. Yeah. It's a nice, nice color. And nice I can see thing. why people rebuild it in different colors, too. Yeah, it looks easy enough. Mm. And you can keep the roof because the roof is mostly white. Yeah. Some people have gotten brick printers to print the... Union Jack on the roof. Yeah, that's cute. Anyway, we might wrap this up yeah. here. Good so your build. final thoughts are thumbs cool. up. Cute. It's very cute. Very little nice. Cute little car. Makes you want to go, want to buy a real one. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. It'd probably be cheap on fuel for um, my deliveries. We're getting ourselves part of a collection of cars. Um, what do you think we might build next week? <laughs> Don't know. Because he finished this one. You actually finished it. Well done. High five. <laughs> It'll be a short build. It'll have to be a shorter one because you're yeah. back at work next week. Yeah, we'll pick a shorter one. All right. I want to say thank you to Dark Side. Bye, everybody. And thank you to Bill's. Uh... Bye, guys. Uh, make sure you check out their channels and annoy them and make them make more videos because they mm -hmm. should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on that note i'm gonna say good night everybody thanks for joining us Bye. thanks for everyone in the live chat and if you're watching this back let me know what you built tonight see you later alligator bye all <laughs>